A transaction in is an instance of buying or selling something. It is a very small unit of a program and it may contain several low-level tasks. A transaction in a database system must ensure accuracy, completeness, as well as data integrity. In case you're watching the video at the channel for the first time, I am Keith and I welcome all of you to the Tute Therapy. Now in this tutorial, we are going to study about asset properties in DBMS. A. A in asset stands for atomicity that is, transactions are all or nothing. This property states that a transaction must be treated as an atomic unit, that is, either all of its operations are executed or none. There must be no state in a database where a transaction is left partially completed. State should be defined either before the execution of the transaction or after the execution, abortion, failure of the transaction. Now comes C. C stands for consistency, which means only valid data is saved. The database must remain in a consistent state after any transaction. No transaction should have any adverse effect on the data residing in the database. If the database was in a consistent state before the execution of the transaction, it must remain consistent after the execution of the transaction as well. I. I stands for isolation, which means transactions do not affect each other. It ensures that the transactions are securely and independently processed at the same time without interference, but it does not ensure the order of the transactions. For example, user A withdraws $100 and user B withdraws $250 from the Z's account, which has a balance of $1,000. Since both A and B withdraws from Z's account, one of the users is required to wait until the other user transaction is completed, avoiding inconsistent data. If B is required to wait, then B must wait until A's transaction is completed and Z's account balance changes to 900. Now B can withdraw 250 from this $900 balance. D. D means durability, where written data will not be lost. In the above example, User B withdraws $100 only after user A's transaction is completed and is updated in the database. If the system fails before A's transaction is logged in the database, A cannot withdraw any money and Z's account returns to its previous consistent state. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like our video, kindly give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.